here is a simple electric motor it's a, a simple DC motor it's a motor that can be made very easily in class with your students I've taken a paper cup and I've cut the bottom out of it and cut a couple of slots opposite each other and I've taped on a magnet on either side opposite each other made up a loop of annealed copper wire this is the wire that I chose I have uh, removed the insulation coating of one edge on both sides of the coil to give it a commutator effect. Just put a little bend in the ends to keep it sort of in the center of the cup. Running off around about 9 volts, pulling around about 0.6 of an amp from the DC power supply. For bearings I pulled apart one of these little bulldog clips and I'm attaching them to the cup with bulldog clips as well it seems to be the easiest way of making a bearing and making contact with the bearing so that the current can pass through the coil this is a very good uh, way of explaining Fleming's left hand rule for the simple DC motor and also the right hand grasp rule to determine the direction of rotation of this simple motor with the coil between the permanent magnetic the magnetic fields. Hope you find this an interesting video and it gives you some uh, ideas uh, that you could use in your class uh, to help your students develop a better understanding of the principles of the simple DC electric motor the rotating loop within a permanent magnetic field and the commutator effect.